How's it guys? So we're just on a Tony Eagle sighting. Uh, we've spotted him on a dead leadwood tree and uh, wanted to give you a quick uh, tip on how to get birds like this and position yourself for the best background. I think if you watched our video from February last year on the 10 tips, uh, we, we, should, we advise every wildlife photographer to pay heed of. One of them is to watch your backgrounds. So this tawny eagle is high up in, in the tree, in the leadwood tree, and uh, there's multiple branches in and around him. So when we first stopped, um, we saw him and we took our, uh, what we call uh, record shots, but uh, the background is not very clean with all those branches sticking out behind him. So then we had to reposition. You would have seen I moved back and across so that I could get um, a better view of him. And then uh, almost framing him uh, to the left and the right. And there's nothing sticking out of his head or, you know, cutting his body in half. Uh, so, yeah, that was, I think, one of the key tips. And... You can do that with, you know, green backgrounds as well. Uh, we'll find some examples of uh, rollers that we had. Or, you know, if there's small sticks or thorns that are sticking out into the bird, reposition and get get uh, the bird separated from, you know, whatever it's sitting in. Prashin? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good tip just to improve your photography. I think an uh, essential element of any wildlife photography person's kit is to get the optimal background and just moving your vehicle or moving yourself forward backwards um, around or something like that will definitely improve your image if you can find a clear uh, more concise background so in our case uh, as Pranesh mentioned we had a, a large branch towards the back of him which obviously distracts the photo for the, the actual picture itself because viewers would um, their eyes would uh, fixate on the branch rather than the the tawny eagle itself but just moving a few centimeters or meter uh, actually backwards, we managed to get um, the Tony Eagle framed uh, on the blue sky with nothing uh, obstructing the viewers, um, you know, the the point of interest. So yeah, um, definitely a cool tip and something that can improve your photography skills. Yeah, I think um, uh, if you start moving away from you know just nature, where you shoot as you see, uh, positioning with the branches on either side means you can easily take those branches out as well. And then you've got a tawny eagle on a perch with no other distractions. So I can do that for you all in, in, in editing and I'll show you how that looks as well. And then you can see it will have just clear blue background. And that's, that's easy to do with just a patch tool or even, you know, the brush tool and sampling the, um, sky and and painting over but i'll i'll quickly run that for y'all and you can see how that looks okay cool that was our tip for today and we off again cool